Hey guys, welcome to Brick Boy, the show with you Lego sets, and today we've got the final episode of Lego Brickmaster Atlantis book model thingy whatever. The Underwater Battle, the dumbest name ever, and it's actually a pretty nice one. I really like this one. I think it's a little better than the Seabed Swipe, but not as good as the Deep Sea Dash or Death Out the Drilling Mission. And music for today is, you know, Starfy, how to spring, blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm not getting very creative. I I'm just kind of lazy, and it's on my DS. Um, and also, sorry for the last episode not having any music. I don't know why, I just forgot. Uh, it's not, it wasn't like audio thing messing up. It's just, I forgot. Sorry. So, I would show you this uh, part of the booklet that is one, but it's an online model. So, that's the only part of the booklet you get. No, wait, huh? Oh, here it is. Underwater battle. So yeah, uh, if you don't, if you haven't been watching these, make sure to watch this one because this one I'm gonna give my final thoughts on this set. So yeah, let's get started. Now, for some reason, you only get uh, Bobby with this set or this model. You don't get the manta ray. He doesn't. It's not in the instructions anywhere. But you could just put him in for fun. I'm not gonna show him. As you can see, he's right there. So I guess I'll show you the little critter first. He's a very interesting thing. Uh, he's got these for eyes. Uh, he's got two little fangs. And all these uh, seaweed. All this seaweed here. For legs. And then he's got the flippers for some of his decorations. Which is kind of cool. How that all works out. See, I really like uh, this little critter guy. He's one of my favorite uh, enemies. So let's get on to the uh, vehicle. First of all, there's Bobby. Oh, what do you know? Sorry. Ah, there we go. So up front, I think these are supposed to be like guns or something. I'm not sure. But they do look uh, pretty interesting. And here we got some uh, propellers. They, sp you can spin both of them like at once. Yeah. And up here, got some nice decorations with the fins and the nozzles. And that's where he sits. He's got the big propeller in the back. It holds two harpoon guns, which is pretty cool. He's got the flippers on the back. And these tubes actually go into the arms. But it's very limited motion if you do that. Like, see, so yeah, I can only move it like that and such. Um. There, I guess that's how you're supposed to keep it. And these guns fall off kind of easily, so it's kind of annoying. See, so, and then under here, it's what it looks like. See, so, yeah, I really like this model. This is definitely one of my favorite models. Um, I, I to give my final uh, order on the models. Just a second. Bobby, I'm trying. I want to focus on the order of the models when I'm talking about that. So I'm going to put Bobby in his thing, and then do that. See, that's him in the side. Back. Yeah. Show you the models. There. This is my order. Drilling missions number one, favorite. DC Dash is number two. Underwater battles number three. Seabed swipes number four. Then the crystal catch is number five. Then treasure hunt and then ocean attack. And I think the ocean attack was the first one I built. So yeah, but they're all nice little models. Okay. Yeah, now I'm going to talk about my thoughts on the entire Brickmaster book model. Well, I said what I said earlier, this is a, they're nice little models. As in, little models. These are very small sets. Even the Treasure Hunt, which is the largest one, definitely, it uses all 140 bricks. It's still pretty small. I mean, like... You pay $30 for this thing. Well, let, let me compare this to another $15 Atlantis set. Oh. 
Like here, the seabed scavenger. This thing is pretty darn big. Not even the treasure hunt is that big. This doesn't even include the additional natural ray minifigure you get. And you can say, oh well this is a this is a smaller one. Yeah, it's not it's not much smaller. This one actually uses a lot of the pieces. It's probably one of the largest models. And the seabed swipe is probably the one that uses the least. So yeah. This uh set is really small. And you might say, oh well it's a book, you see. Like, it has facts in it. See, you open it up. And it has facts about random things. These facts are pretty darn pointless. All these things are really just there to make it more expensive. The book is pointless. You, like, the, like, the create, you might say, well, you get, you get 14 models. Well, you really get 7. And... Not even the creator sets are this small. The creator sets are pretty darn big for the price. Like, the lighthouse is $40. I think that's a pretty big set. But this is just so minuscule for $30. <laughs> Excuse me. They're for $30. So, overall, let's go into the ratings. Cool factor, I'm going to go 3.5. That's definitely its highest uh, quality. Mocking piece is 3.5. That's its second highest quality. Uh, play value, I'm also going to go 3.5, actually. Um, because, you know, you always get two nice uh, vehicles to fight with. I mean, you get the you get a nice vehicle and then a pretty cool enemy most of the time. And then, size, I'm going to go 1.5. It's just awful. The size, it's pathetic. Do I want to go 1? 1 or 1.5? I'm going to go with... I'm gonna go with 1. I'm not kidding, I'm going to give my very first one individual rating ever. It's so tiny. It's smaller than the Pizza Planet truck from Toy Story. It's smaller than... The minifigure, the collectible minifigures for price. It's smaller than the freaking Ninjago battle packs. It's just so tiny for three for thirty bucks. So overall, I'm going to give it a four point five out of ten because if you can get this, actually, I'm going to go five because if you can get this cheap, like ten dollars or fifteen dollars, I guess fifteen dollars is a good price. Then go and get it. But really, this should have definitely be tw been $20. Like, there's no question. Tw even $20 is a little pricey for this tiny set. But I paid, like, a little more than $20. And uh, am I glad with buying it for $20? No. No, I'm not. Mainly because I'm probably not going to use it and I already have, like, 100 vehicles for the Atlantis theme already. That's not going to be very helpful to me. So, I guess I'll see you guys next Sunday for the review of Meteor Strike. Later.